Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest version upgrade for Microsoft Edge, which they pushed out late on Friday last week in my part of the world. So I'm sure by now, if you were using Edge over the weekend, that the browser would have updated itself automatically. But just to keep you guys posted, like we like to do on the channel. Now, after this latest update has been installed, browser version and build is sitting on 142.0.3595.53. Now, as always, first to just focus on the security fixes that have rolled out. We get one edge specific security fix that is rolled out for the browser, which is a remote code execution vulnerability. And then we get 20 security fixes rolling out for the Chromium open source platform, which the browser is based on, which would have been last week's weekly security fixes. And out of the 20 security fixes, seven are high severity and high impact. So quite an important security fix for that open source Chromium project. And then we get a couple of mediums and a couple of lows. And those high severity are made up of type confusion in V8 inappropriate implementation, which are common exploits in the Chromium-based web browser. So quite an important security update. One edge specific and 20 for the Chromium open source project. Now focusing on what's new. First of all, Microsoft says it's fixed an issue in headless mode, which caused features like print to PDF and the screenshot to not work as expected. So nice to see that niggly issue has been sorted out. And then if we head into our settings, privacy search and services, security. Edge has a feature called Scareware Blocker, which allows Microsoft to use AI to detect potential tech scams. Now, Microsoft says with this release, it's added a Scareware sensor, which is this setting, for faster detection so that the browser can notify smart screen about potential scams with no need to share screenshots or extra data. And this enables smart screen to block harmful and scammy websites faster, according to Microsoft. And at this stage, the new scareware sensor, as you could see, was turned off and is turned off by default. But apparently Microsoft says it is planning to enable it for users with smart screen enabled by default. So share detected scam sites with Microsoft Defender smart screen. That's a new option now in the settings. And then another new improvement is you can now drag to group tabs. With Microsoft saying tab groupings can now be made by dragging a tab over another. So if we just show you that quickly, there we go, tab group created. And if you want to turn this feature off because it is on by default, if we head back into our settings, appearance, and we scroll down to the bottom of the page where we see tabs, you'll see now that Drag to group tabs, that's on by default. And if you don't want that, you can turn that off if you so wish. And then just to mention the next new feature, Microsoft says when Edge is set as the default browser to open external links from apps, Edge now must determine which profile to open the links. So basically the feature is listed as open external links in another profile when recommended by external apps. So that's listed as a new feature. And then just to mention another new feature, according to Microsoft, when you fill in an address on a form, you will now be prompted to choose whether to save it for future autofill suggestions. And Microsoft says that this enhancement ensures autofill data is saved intentionally by you and reduces unwanted entries as part of your autofill suggestion. Just take note though that Microsoft says that this is on a controlled feature rollout. So if you don't see this feature, check back as it continues the rollout. And that's quite common with new features. They are rolled out gradually in some cases. So those are the official new features from the change log. There are some other under the hood treatments taking place for organizations and enterprises using Edge for Business. And something else I have noticed that wasn't mentioned in the change log is if we head back into our settings, and this time we head to AI Innovations, and we toggle on Copilot mode, 
you will see now that that new tab page has the copilot background and wallpaper which i posted on when it was in preview just a couple of days ago and this just used to be a dark black background and yeah we can see that it's got that floral design with a blue so-called scar that we get in the actual copilot app so that's also something i have noticed that has been made available with this latest version upgrade so guys that's more or less what's new in edge version 142 which rolled out late last week on friday in my part of the world so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one